Newton once very rightly said, live your life with an exclamation, not an explanation. Greetings everyone. This is Amanat. And this is Eileen. And we are here today to explain the Newton's laws of motion with an exclamation. Amanat, Amanat, you will not believe what I went through yesterday. Well, not until you tell me. Well, obviously. Okay, so remember how I went to Allahabad last weekend? Uh, Allahabad. That does ring a bell. Oh yeah, I remember you blabbering something about it. Okay, yeah, so me blabbering. Okay, it was a really nice trip, I'm not gonna lie. And we thought of ending our trip with a completely new experience of river rafting. Oh, I love river rafting. I love river rafting too, but, well, <laughs> until I was getting off my boat and the land literally whooshed from under my feet. Uh, well, you mean as you were trying to get to the shore, the boat slipped away as you fell down? <sighs> my friend, that is one very scientific way to describe my fault, but all right, we'll take it. I would like to call it just a better way to explain your situation. Sure. Well, yeah, girl, I know, I am better. Okay. Anyways, if you've brought the topic of science up, I really want to explain the theory behind your fall. Oh, Amanat, Amanat, we all know that I hate science and you very well know that. Don't do this to me. Oh, girl, I know you hate science. But apparently, I am a great teacher. Try me. Okay. We all know here, yet again, that I will not end up loving science after your theories. But all right, give it a shot. Go on. Sure. So, the situation you were in illustrates Newton's third law of motion. <laughs> and I've never heard of that. Okay. Well, I sort of did not expect more from you. So anyways, keep your ears open. And so do you. Newton's third law of motion states, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And with that theory, I might have heard of that. I'm not that dumb, you see. Oh, that's great. Well, apparently you should have known it because you're in ninth grade. Do you not pay attention to Amit sir's physics classes? <sighs> about that. Um, that is one very controversial topic to be talking about. Not gonna lie, yeah. Well, girl, you told the wrong person. I shall surely convey this to him. Oh, Amanat, Amanat. You're not that bad of a person. Well, I know I'm not that bad. So, you should let me complete this so that this thing of yours doesn't reach him. Okay, I do not need this to reach him. So, all right, you win. Go on. Sure. So, when you were trying to reach the shore, you applied a force on the boat and this was the action. The boat hence applied the same force on you with an equal magnitude in the opposite direction. And this was the reaction. And as the boat is on the water and it's not stagnant, it slipped away as you fell down and the land whooshed away. Okay, um, with that theory, that does kind of make sense. All right, that is interesting. See, I told you, physics is amazing. All right, sure. But, okay, why doesn't this also apply to me jumping off a train? Well, that is also me jumping off of it. Why does that also not displace? Wow. Well, I must say, girl, that's a great question. I'm a good uh, student. Yeah. Newton's third law. Train. Hmm, that does ring a bell. Uh. You know what? I feel like Newton was a little dumb. He, he thought sure about was. the boat, but he forgot about the train. Trust me, physics is stupid after all. The third law of motion also applies in you displacing from the train. But as I stated, the third law of motion there's also a second law of motion, change of rate of moment, or in simple language, shall I say, force is equal to mass of the product and acceleration of a body. The mass of your body is nil in front of the mass of the train, and henceforth, train does apply an equal and opposite reaction to your force, but Due to the difference in mass, it is invisible. And next time, my child, do not doubt Newton. Okay, he sure did get offended mm. on that, all right? Yes, so anyways, as Newton very rightly said, that F is a uh, force is directly proportional to the change in momentum upon time. And as we can write... Uh, 
are you seriously thinking i understand all of this oh yeah oh, i'm so sorry i forgot i had a dumb student with me okay anyways as you brought the topic of trains up you know what trains remind me of okay wait yeah the iconic scene of ddlg right okay show me the video show me yes, the video yes why not guys ja simran ja jeele apni zindagi that movie just brings so many memories back i know right i used to run along with <laughs> when i was younger okay well talking about running doesn't newton's third law of motion also apply to walking and running oh i never thought of that well if you think of it when you are walking your foot is applying some amount of force on the ground which will come exactly opposite to your feet and you will walk is that right oh yeah and when you're running the force will be at a higher magnitude and a higher force that's why your force will the pace will increase right yes and that's why we are able to run and while running our speed is more than when we are walking exactly i'm such oh a good god. student oh my god i really cannot describe my felicity right now <laughs> okay. i shall uh, i shall charge for these amazing classes okay before being that confident about your teaching skills give me another example another example hmm. well you know what you are a mastermind go on okay me being a mastermind you know what go ahead and punch this wall there yeah why you not sure about it i'm very sure about it okay go on nice and hard mm-hmm. let's go go Oh, oh wait oh uh, that's ah, an earthquake ah, wait oh, ah, oh 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 damn okay that was very oh no yeah things are falling off and okay that was a very huge one i guess it's fine now yeah yeah why do okay. earthquakes happen in the first place it's annoying at times oh wait earthquake does that, that ring a bell manat no 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 amanat newton cannot be everywhere apparently it, newton is everywhere now this is simply annoying but okay go on yeah i have to explain it to you so well can you tell our audience that why does earthquake takes place because of the movement of the seven big big tectonic plates yes you do know something okay so the earth is divided into seven big pieces of land as we call it the tectonic plates mm-hmm. and due to the movement of the tectonic plates this causes earthquakes tsunamis volcanoes etc well when one tectonic plate is in contact with the other tectonic plate it uh, releases some amount of force on the second tectonic plate and as a reaction the second tectonic plate also applies the same force in an equal magnitude in the opposite direction of the first tectonic plate and hence forth we feel an earthquake well there uh, are several parts to it tectonic plates are of two types convergent you and really divergent you have to tell me that i yes. know all of this let me come i pay attention in geography classes all right i'm just not oh, good at physics okay one thing one thing just one thing please so as we know that uh, newton's third law states every action has an equal and opposite reaction so equal reaction causes trenches whereas opposite reaction causes mountain formations is that it yeah okay <laughs> well okay Wait, wait. Weren't we talking about something else before? Exactly. Oh right, punching walls. I'm just very good okay. at punching. Punch this wall you right here. Back to go. topic. No. Hmm. Nice and hard. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ow! Oh my God, that hurts. Obviously, it hurts. And you know why it hurts? Why? <laughs> oh, oh, dummy! Because of the amount of force that you apply with your hand on the wall, it's gonna come back with the equal and opposite force on your hand. It's gonna hurt. Right. Newton's, Newton's third, third law. law of motion. Okay, but could you not think of any other example in this world instead of trying to break my hand? Okay. Um, it's just how I teach my friend. Just get used to it. Okay. I guess I have to. Okay. But does Newton's third law of motion apply to? anything else but these normal examples sports of course sports yes you know what there are several sports that work on just the phenomena of third law of motion example please javelin throw or pole vault springboard diving swinging swimming running okay um 
with the what did you just say javelin, javelin throw. throw right yes i have a video why don't you just go ahead and play it I sure think. i guess that will explain the third law of motion very easily come on india india, india. whoa go india Woo! and that he was a clip best. of neer chopra winning a gold medal for india he is the best after all of course <laughs> well okay so did Then you we... understand the physics behind it oh i did and doesn't the same also apply to pole vault yeah explanation like, yeah okay i will give it a go don't mind me stuttering because it's my first time okay, okay. so a pole vaulter has a pole in his hand obviously that's the <laughs> entire sport okay when he's running with the pole in his hand he will what will he do He, he will, will try, apply. Yeah, he, he will apply, apply force on the ground with the pole. It's my explanation. Okay. Yeah. Please go on. Okay. He will apply a downward force on the pole, which will propel him up in the air, right? Yes. Okay, and that will cause him to yet again fall down, and the amount of force that he applied on Earth will strike back onto on him. him. Wow, you're a great student. Just amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, while you were trying to explain the pole vault. I just remember that I have another example for you. Okay, we've had a lot of examples today. It's too much knowledge. One last, Let I this guess. be the last one. Well, do you see this balloon? Did you magically just reappear it from your folder? Who? We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so do you want me to turn this balloon again into magic? Oh, I love magic. Then sure. I don't see the just behind the scenes. Just give me a sec. Let me just yeah. blow it away. So, what do you think would happen if I just leave this balloon right now? It will fly away like a rocket. Yes, and why would that happen? Newton's third law of motion. Oh well. And that's, that's mastermind is how you teach. Okay, I am definitely passing and topping physics this year. Thank, Thank you. you.